Alrighty, guys. Okay, I level my right anyway. So, off the bat, let's talk about what are the big things you're going to be looking for in Smite 2. How do, how do we improve at a MOBA at the fastest pace? Because we have very little time on these alpha and betas. So, first thing you're going to look at that's going to be changing in Smite, uh, Smite 2 is the items, obviously, right? In Smite 1, a lot of people's problems throughout all of Smite 1's career was that they did copy-paste builds. This is about a change. Reason being is that nobody's going to know what's the best item. And with active items being in the game, a lot of things are going to change, right? When do you build these active items? When do you build passive items? So the way I, I like to approach this is in Dota 2 when I first started and all the other MOBAs that I ever played when I first started, the first thing I did was if I can play with six items that are activatable, then I can play with one or two or three, obviously, right? Because I'm, I'm confident confident and comfortable with using six active items. I'm not saying to do that off the bat. You can move up slowly, right? One, two, three, because when it is the time that you need six items that are all active that are the best according to their lineup, you are able to do so, right? So I think that's the way you should approach it off the bat when in terms of items. Um, be creative, Right, a lot of us like to watch streamers like myself and, or content creators and do what they do, and that's not wrong. But try to add your own little spice, right? Because that little spice it might be the difference on why you're killing someone, or why you're living, or why you survived, or why you can split push, or why you can solo FG. You know, a lot of these things. Be creative. Don't don't let you know people say, "Oh, this is the best." Don't build anything else. Don't don't let that happen. This is my two. It's gonna be new. Nobody knows what's best. Be creative. This, the third most important thing to, to learn in a new MOBA is the farming patterns. Learn how to farm and then learn how to gank, right? That goes more for junglers um, because laning would be a bit easier, right? Because the waves are coming to you. All you got to worry about is your one or two camps or the back camps. Try to learn, try to be uh, efficient, uh, efficient with your farming. That's going to allow you to have a, an advantage over people that are learning. That's going to be the number one advantage that you're going to be able to have. So let's watch a little bit of this, my two gameplay, and I'll come so up I'm with more things. Definitely just sustain here. They have double two blue already. It's my beads down. But... So these are the new bushes. Um, if any of you guys ever played League of Legends, you guys have seen these bushes. You can see you can see out of them. You can't see someone that's inside of them um, unless you have a ward. So this is going to be really important to surprise enemies. Being patient, how to use bushes is all about being patient. If I sit in the, if, if I come into this bush and they see me, it's obvious, right, that I'm here. If I sit in this bush when they're coming from their purple and I'm sitting here, sitting here, they move up to the wave and be patient, let them overextend, that's how you use the bush, right? That's how you use the bush. You're, you become very patient and you stand in these bushes before they ever see you come in them. Yeah, they stole your blue and red and red. At the end of the day, the way, uh, things that didn't change in Smite were waves, right? Having wave advantage is always going to favor you. It's going to make the game easier. So for your lanes, you know, picking high pressure is always important. Um, if you're in dual lane or if you're in mid or if you're in solo, if you out clear them, you will have an advantage. So clearing wave still stays king in Smite 2. Sending him, sending him, sending him. Oh, what a good knockback. This is a new character. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just pushing him back. Um, I'm missing mid. But so, things that haven't changed as well in Smite is that tower still, I always say this, and people have played Smite 1 for 10 years and still don't know this, but I will be here to tell you. If the tower hits the minion, you will lose 80% of gold, right? So do not let these minions walk in a tower unless you absolutely have to, right? Unless you're going to die if you try to keep it out. So as you see here, back. one minion's coming in. Um, I miss he goes for the auto, gets the full 31 gold for it. Only 2 minutes, 42 seconds, 31 gold for melee last hit. Let's share nah, this wave so you can buy back. Right now. I see you look in the jungle. 15 gold. You see how you got half gold on that? The Warhorn um, is pretty much as it here. Your next minion wave will spawn champion uh, minions. So from Solo, there is still TP across to the other side. It's on the borders here. Um, there's the Horn that you can play for. There's Horn, side TPs, blue buffs, and back camps that I think you should be worried about in Solo lane. Uh, Loki might come into dual lane. 
Another thing that's changed is bees are on a 240 minute CD. Um, so use your beads wisely. Use it. It's going to be more important. I mean, Smite, now you get free upgraded beads pretty much by like minute 10. Um, if you got it, if you got it first, so that's changed a lot, right? You got to be very patient and very smart when you use your beads. Yeah, back up, back up, back up. Yep, there behind you. I'm here. I'm coming. Knocked him up. Should be safe. Watch the honor. Have we seen Loki? I'm yeah, behind by us. Yeah, okay. fight, fight, okay. fight. Oh, he got me. He dove. Very good, very good. Stunning him, stunning him, stunning him. Ymir's there, Ymir's there. He's nice, dead. Nice, nice. That's nice. good. Don't know where Loki went. He went, like, back here. He, is he teleporting, maybe? No, he, he no, just he's put too low. Wave. Okay. New gold, right? Uh, the side... It, this reminds me of a Dota bounty, right? There's bounty runes that you get that give gold to your whole team. Oh, it's entire team. Back. Okay, so it's exactly like the bounty system in Dota. So it's for your whole team. So 30, 150, right? So yeah, it's really good. It's a big, it's a big swing. So controlling that is important. Um, we can meet up purple. They're both contesting it right now. Yeah. Yeah, boy, Geo thinks this up. Welcome. Bye. Grabbing this gold. I'm, I'm gonna have to go back. Actually, I'll wait. Just gotta see when they hit five. Yeah, I assume they're hitting five first. I'm halfway. I think so. Our red and blue are about you to come might up. Hit, yeah. Loki might it. come by. The red. Yeah, they're close. I, you can see it on, their, on the tab screen. Oh, yeah, you, sure. You're probably gonna get one. It's hard for me to judge. So that actually interaction would have never been able to be a thing, um, right? Because before wall would just you just walk against it. Now the wall was so good, right, that it bumped her forward, which set up the freeze. This is our, these are new things that were you know new uh, new interaction with Emir freeze. I mean Emir wall. I stand for lack for getting them off. Yeah. I probably should just back left. No, you're, you're healthy, you're healthy. They I'm actually didn't do much to you. If I remember correctly, Neath 1 now drops traps. The passive on the floor, no longer the backflip. They're gonna hit 5 here, so they might yeah, look to make a right, play. Right. Loki's here, he's behind me. I'm just gonna try and get some I'm extra weight through. Yeah, oh, we, we, got him, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Impale's down, impale's down. Nice. Um, Zeus is on missing. Her. Loki's here, Loki's here. Watch yeah, out for Zeus the and, um, Loki might Sol. do our blue. He's doing our blue. Oh, oh yeah, why is he over there? I've got ulti now, so call it if we need it. Uh, he's four, he's four. Here, can we kill him? Where did on her go? He's still left, he's still left. I have ult. Try. <laughs> oh, wow, he went over there. Mid. Oh, I hit Barkus a lot. He's really low, but that's both of their ults. Oh, you hit five. Yeah. On four. Yeah, we should have gone like immediately. Oh no. Damn. I might roam. Might be. Oh no, I got many memes, so I should probably stay. So now we're looking at a little bit of the item shop. Uh, double 3k is still the way to scale. Health pots, mana pots. You could have three to one slot. They give 25.8 health per second. That's pretty drastic in, in team fights. So health pots, I think, in my opinion, are, in Smite 2, are still very, very OP. So make sure to Can use I health pots. With you? Enter. Uh, I guess. Because that'll give me neem stacks. I'm not. When using ability, you gain 10% intelligence and 3% boost for 4 seconds. Stacks up to, I think, 3 times. So, what is that? 30 intelligence and 9% movement speed. So, Gemma Focus, very similar to Gemma Focus that we have nowadays in Smite 1. 20% um, CD, 55 intelligence. That's a very strong item, in my opinion. Definitely an item that will be building a lot right of now. mages. We should need to get early gold for your vision, because I feel like they're going to just go for it. Not yeah, they might. this early, but like, I like, I know Sock likes calling it fast. Alpha is starting. Noise. Aggro is just not here. Nice, they got Go eyes on dual lane. Got side gold too. 
These are the back back camps. I miscalculated how much damage I need for these. Okay, so let's do the math right. Eight times five. That's uh, what are the forty? So forty gold and one melee CS at minute two was thirty six gold. So just keep that in mind. It's always really important to be comparing gold because nobody knows the right farming routes if you're not running the numbers. I miscalculated how much damage I need for these. We can see by getting left. 16, 16, 16, 32. I wish I could They're see They're in dual that. lane. Call for ulti if you need it. I'm just gonna play defensive and clear wave. I just want neem stacks. Get those sticks. Oh, rips. I missed. Ulting Bologna. That's where her beads. Oh, I was on dueling, they might go mid. Oh, no. I'm going, going, going. No, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Watch for Loki. I'm asking about Gaines. Yes. yes. My new, Anubis all looks awesome. I got an assist for that. No, I, yeah, give me a rotate. Loki's by me. Loki's on my oh, back. Good, 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 good. I'm gonna okay, get frozen. Big wall. Yeah, he's low though. He's low though. Loki's on my right jungle, so you guys are Waiting good for a little while. Yeah, I'm gonna poke this. Alex is zoning wave. Oh my god. Oh, I'm this. leaving. <laughs> Chaos is charged. Me and Chaos actually teamed help when I was younger. Uh, we, we could probably get a kill here. They're being really aggressive. I think I can get the. Oh, he Loki. just dove me in tower. Yes. Get him, get him, get him. I don't. I can't get him. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, he's gonna go for my camps. Oh, Loki's on me too. I got dove. Honor all was awesome. Such is life. Let's go, Braggies. Timing should be different. Like. The things that so smite right you knew when I say timings what do I mean those are spikes um, You knew Jotun's wrath spike, right? You knew Hydra spike. You knew glove spike. You knew XC spike. You knew Doom or spike you understood coin spike you understood deso spike all these spikes that you know are about to be You know a waste of information and all these new spikes you're gonna have to learn So the faster you learn the spikes the faster you'll be able to know or understand when to play aggressive I've got ulti in 10. Okay, I'm backing up. Your right tower is under attack. I'm gonna see if I can help pressure left side. Actually, Here's you're kinda low. Yeah, I feel staying like staying in tower. I feel like I'm just getting invaded a lot. I don't really have much XP right now either. Yeah, it's been a, uh, it's been a rough go on the left lane. I feel like oh. I'm getting baited here. <laughs> it's missing. Oh, socks there. Yeah, socks here. I'm gonna make sure Loki doesn't get this. Uh, probably better to try and save it for Andrew versus yeah. doing that. Yeah. I disagree with that. Um, I think in Smite, there's always been like, oh, support should farm this. ADC should farm this. Jungle should farm this. Um, that is a very newbie way to look at the game. Her mid wave just met. There's no Zeus there. Th there she's not going to lose a minion here. He's on right side jungle. They're losing. I think her taking the back camps is a fair play. Loki's left. I'm kind of fine. I've got. Yeah, they see me warded. They, they see me coming in. There's three left. Yeah, I'll just come over here to support and get stacks. Yeah, I think. Um, I don't know where. Um, Loki might have teleported. Yeah, careful, mm, right? Gotcha. Let's see if we can do this. Believe it, quick. Yeah. Game is pretty, even though even though they've been like getting owned. I think all three lanes are losing. So, the game looks really even for all three lanes losing, in my opinion. But uh, hard to tell. You mirror mid. 
Have we seen Loki? No. No. We have not. They also changed Zeus. They also changed Zeus. Oh, I don't know what I can say or can, but they took away his two, which I disagree with. I, his kit is his old kit. I don't know. His shield made hit the kit feel more, more together. Yeah. So yeah, I think they 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 did Zeus pretty dirty, if you ask me. Alex is literally just zoning XP. Uh, so what Chaos is doing here, he's holding lanes, forcing him to lose at least two melee minions or archers. Okay, the problem with holding wave is that that means you're not power farming anything else. So it's it's minus two minions for him, but you're not farming anything else. So I'm looking at all the spawns. Purple's up. There, this purple's about to be up. There's a lot. It seems like some things are coming up soon. We're obviously gonna have to learn timers, right? Because we don't know. Like, is this 10 seconds or 20 seconds or 30 seconds, right? It looks like it's about to fill up. So you know that that'll be a learning. Uh, I think it's gonna take time to learn. 67. Oh, three on me, three on me, three on me, three on me. Oh, yeah, it's a beads that. by you caps. Yeah, I'm at this purple. All right, it's beads. Uh, invading purple, I'm assuming. I'm ulting, I'm ulting left, I'm ulting left. Stay alive. Careful mid. Yeah, he's dead. Why is Bacchus hitting for. Your... Why, why is Bacchus hitting that hard? 72, but he's hitting a tank. For 72, and the Neath was hitting a carry for 67. Stay alive. 66 plus 38. Careful mid. Eight. 72 plus 36. Bacchus is literally hitting harder than Neath right now. He's dead. It's very uh, nice. I don't see Zeus. <laughs> Oh, I didn't get an assist. They could be on I didn't right get an assist either. Pun, did you just kill him outright? Yeah, I just oh got him outright. Yeah, they are on gold. He did gold with the pressure. Alright, let's, let's see the gold Caesar? difference. Pond, so they're up 400 gold. Yeah, I just got him outright. Yeah, they are on gold. When they finish gold, they're up. So it was a 1k gold swing? No, not really. It was a like 600 or 700 gold swing. I wonder how long. It, so, so gold has always been kind of weird. Sometimes it's worth a lot in Smite's history. Sometimes it's been worth very little. Sometimes you know it depends. So we'll see where that gold is at. Socks here. So she held beads there. That's really smart. I can get back here. With beads being at two hundred and forty seconds, um, I think like being really patient like sometimes there's gonna be times where n just not using your beads even though you die might be the play in my opinion especially if they have a really uh, as more kids start coming out like aries and stuff oh i'm gonna have a huge power spike here nice nice good pick good pick And I think everything else will be learned with time. Learning the buffs, right, will take a little bit of time. You and a nearby ally gains plus 15 strength and int. Seems like a pretty damn good buff. Uh, what does nearby mean, right? Is that 30 units? Those are things that you're going to have to learn on your own. But I hope you guys uh, I helped a little bit in getting ready for Smite 2. I'll see you guys on Thursday. Thanks for watching.